political crisis on the Klingon homeworld has worsened. Trusted sources on the planet tell us that the Klingon High Council is convening to discuss a possible attack against the Federation. I have every intention of preventing this. Our sources also report that Ambassador Worf has disappeared. His absence will make negotiations impossible. Now you must find Ambassador Worf so he can help defuse the situation. Good luck, Captain. My work on epidermal matrices has finally paid off. I believe I have further isolated a non-organic Klingon chemical compound that aids in recombination. All of our medical hypersprays should now heal with greater efficiency. Right, I think that's all the introductions done. Hello, welcome back. My name is Wolverine. This is Star Trek Armada. Um, no, it's not. It's not Star Trek Armada at all. It is uh, <laughs> Star Trek Away Team. Begins with an A. Right. Yeah, so in the previous episode we rescued Commander Data from the uh, clutches of the Wardens who were infiltrating Starfleet Command. And now we suspect that the Klingons have been infiltrated as well. And the evidence keeps mounting because now they're talking about going to war with the Federation. Also, Worf has gone missing and he's not the kind of person to be easily turned. Also, <laughs> we found a suspicious device that might be pivotal or key to how the Wardens are turning people to their cause. And Chief Medical Officer tells me a hypo is now better because reasons! Right, let's go. So we're going to the Klingon homeworld of Kronos. So we're here to stop a war, so killing people frowned upon. Although the Klingons, they don't really mind, as long as it's an honourable death. Well, Captain, thank heavens you're safe. At least now there is still hope to save the ship. What? Ivan, what's happened? A hey? mutiny. A group of crew members calling themselves wardens have taken over engineering and now control the ship. They've gone mad. Uh-oh. Mutiny? The contagion from the late Gulf must be affecting our crew. Many are affected, but not all. A few loyal crew members are scattered across the ship. Set phases for stun, then. We don't want to harm our own crew. Let's gather the others before we move against these wardens. Then we'll see about taking back my ship. Aye, Captain. Ah! Huh. That's a development. Right, kill off. Right, you've not got any other weapons. So we've just got Ivan and Marcus, the captain, here. And all the crew are hostile, so let's, uh, you know... Stun! There we go. Right, we're on board the incursion. We didn't get as far as Kronos. So this is a Defiant class ship. You'll recognize the layout from Deep Space Nine. Uh, this guy's gonna wake up soon. It's just slightly bigger for the sake of the game. I know these doors aren't that big. Right, we're on the bridge, which is a good place to start. You've got a pretty good chance of uh, taking... Why are you walking and you're running? Come on! That was a captain stunning your ass. Right, next deck. Pause time. What have we got? A lovely rug. Look at that. That's excellent. I thought Defiant class ships were supposed to be like bare bones. In the United Federation of Planets, um, duvet cover. Love it. Art. What is this? Another lovely rug. It's more like a galaxy class ship. It's so plushly decorated. The Defiant in DS9 is just a big gun in space, basically. It's, it's nothing like this. I suppose they had a bit more money this time, and time, I suppose. Also, the Defiant was a um, an experimental ship. One of a kind, at first. So, uh, yeah. A bit basic. Okay, so, a few people dotted around, some of them friendly, some of them not. So, there's a guy there, he's hostile. Another guy there, he's hostile. Adrena Sedic. Let's go get her, she's closest. Right, unpause time. Don't shoot the door, walk through it, morons. I've forgotten the controls, there are only two buttons. Oh, 
I've been tracking the status of the warp core. Breach is imminent. But there is still time for us to beam to engineering and get the warp core back online. The device we recovered from the wardens, a cranionecrotizer, is no longer in the secure research lab. It seems Chief Engineer Ejula has the necrotizer in her possession. Ah. So the Chief Engineer is responsible, eh? Let's see about that. Right, uh, we need to get to the transporter. There's a med bay. Ah, there's an unconscious person in the transporter. Andola. She's the wrong Vulcan. Vulcan. Right, don't think there's anybody else here worth picking up, so let's just go straight there, I suppose. Right, where are we? It's done. Keep going. <laughs> Oh yes, one of you's walking. Yep, you're Certainly. walking. Stop walking! Goodness sakes. Better things to do than see you walking. Wait, this isn't the transport room. Oh, nobody can pick that up. Oh, there's somebody in here. Oh, I forgot about you entirely. Right, hello. I was almost picked up by one of the patrols. The infected crew turned hostile on the engineering deck. Security is very tight there. Cheers for the info. And stop walking. Really. Right, you got the hypo spray and we've got a doctor. Oh for goodness sakes. Oh, one behind us. Don't worry about it. Ah damn it! Oh, shoot, Ivan. Is there anybody that didn't shoot down here? I was stunned from behind by a hostile crew member. Do not be concerned. I am ready for duty. Yeah, your health's at full. I'm not feeling well. Right, um... Transport, there we go. I should be able to use my terminal repair skill on this. Terminal repair skill. Computer systems, engine earring tech kit. Equipment enhancement. You don't have a terminal repair skill, you moron. Of course. What's this? I should replicate some aspirin. Yes, sir. You. I will beam us to a cargo holding go. room close to the warp core. Sensors indicate heavy patrols in the area. Yep, the Chicago bear, right? Look at all those definitely beer barrels. Wow. This is the party ship, isn't it? Look at all that. Goodness me. Are you sure they're not just all drunk? Oh my lord, there's loads! There's barrels and barrels! There are barrels in Star Trek and there are these. These are definitely beer kegs. Look at that! You ever seen a pub being loaded? Oh, I remember the days when I saw pubs. Anyway. That, that's definitely the warp core and it's completely different to the one on the Defiant. It looks more like the one in uh, Next Gen that the Enterprise D has. Anyway, it doesn't have to be the same. It's good that it's different. Uh, there's the engineer. Not sure if she's friendly, actually. Right, so it's just a straight walk there, because every other entrance is closed. And shoot everybody on the way, don't forget. Oh wait, everybody make sure you're on stun. Yep, you're on stun. For the Federation. You're on stun. Yes, sir. You're on stun. Of course. You're on Captain stun. Ready. Yes, sir. Captain Ready, yes. Well done, Captain Ready. <laughs> right. I forgot. We're definitely all on stun then, and only one of us is walking. Not crouching. Not crouching on my own ship. Stop. Okay, why are we walking now? What happened? 
This area is restricted. Ah! I'm under attack. I must remember that I have um limited phaser charge, so I didn't just have everybody fire at once. I should pick an individual team member. I suppose that's what pause time's for, really. Okay, you're just going to stand in there and wonder what the noise is on about. Good uh, self-preservation skills. Stop. Help. Right. Oh, there's one there. Okay, so... Affirmative. You. Shoot that. Yes, sir. You. Shoot him. Of course. You. Shoot him. A sound strategy. And you. Ah, oh, you can't shoot him from there. Help. <laughs> Excellent. And you shoot him. Oh, there's another one. Count on it. You shoot that one. I am under attack. Security okay, you shoot that ready. one. There we go. Everybody's shot. And off we go. Is somebody gonna beam in and do something annoying? Security! Intruder alert! Yeah, oh the book! And the behind the Force field. Oh no. Um, can we? Oh, we are still live. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a cutscene. Um, no, there's nothing we can do. What's going on there? Oh, they've taken that our containment engineer. field needs to be taken down. Lieutenant Sedic, see what you can do. Uh, Lieutenant Sedic, which one's ready when you there? are? You. Do that, I think. There. There we go. Oh, Lieutenant Sedic, we, we need that warp core back online. Now. Oh. How can I help? Shoot that idiot. That's how you can help. Right, Sedic, Sedic. Do that again. There, I think. I'm under attack. I'm wounded. Oh, stop shooting What's the doctor. That? Captain, the warp core is becoming unstable. I will reroute the command controls from here. It looks like this is the station Brexen was using to reroute the ship's controls to her location. Oh. Okay, the main computer is back online and I have recalibrated the warp core. Wow, that's usually like a day's work. Well done, everyone. I'm under attack. Ah! Yeah, mission completed, all objectives met. Keep all personnel alive. Hooray! So get the warp core back online. Done. Gather the team in the transport room. Transport. Yep, done that. Rescue her, rescue her, rescue her. Keep all personnel alive. Yeah, pretty successful. Now for Kronos. Captain's log supplemental. Thanks to the extraordinary efforts of my away team, we have repaired the fracture in the matter antimatter containment fields and saved the incursion. By flooding the lower decks with detrillin gas, we have incapacitated the crew members infected by the wardens. Until a cure can be found, we will have to sedate infected crew members. Complicating matters, a force of Borg drones boarded the incursion and captured Chief Engineer Brexen Ajula. Not only was Engineer Ajula infected, she also possessed a handheld device capable of spreading the contagion. It seems the Borg are also interested in the wardens. And we must learn why. Right, well, that turned out completely differently than I expected. I thought we were going to meet Klingons. I even thought, almost prayed, that Michael Dawn might make an appearance. But no. In fact, our crew turned on us, and we had to stun them and um, get control of the ship back. But then the Borg showed up. For no apparent reason other than they might be interested in the same thing as us. So, yeah, surprise Borg. That always improves the storyline. Anyway, <laughs> tatty bye and stay safe.